So, it's been a while since I did any game dev or posted any videos. It feels like it's been a few months, right? I was working on a game called Miner's Delight, which I was envisioning it to be something like a farming sim like Stardew Valley mixed with that really old Flash game on Miniclip called Motherload. Wait, is Miniclip still around? I was using the Godot Godot engine, and it was a pretty great experience. Last time I touched it, however, it was on version 3.4. The engine was lightweight, and it was easy to start making a game just after a few tutorials. I would attribute that to the node-based architecture Godot is based off of. It made understanding what's happening in your scene intuitive, like your game level has a player node, and that player node is composed of different types of nodes that give it additional functionality which you can define via scripts. But as you can tell from the video's title, I started dabbling in Unreal. And I wouldn't say it's because Godot is missing something, more so I wanted to try out a different engine and just learn the differences. I wanted to try my hand at making 3D games, and looking outside, the two big dogs on the block were Unreal and Unity. I didn't dig too much into the 3D capabilities of Godot, but back when I was using it, it didn't seem like there were a lot of 3D Godot games out there. Probably not a good thing, but I just need like 10 10 different YouTube tutorials of the same thing for me to really get it. And Unreal looked like it had a lot of resources online, especially for 3D games. And to be fair, Unity did as well. But I guess I was allured by the big updates and strides Unreal was making with version 5. Also, I know a bit of C++, so I figured that should be helpful. Right? So I set out learning Unreal so I can port my game to 3D. Uh, so I kind of underestimated it. It was a lot more challenging to get a hang of Unreal compared to Godot. Unreal just had a lot more going on everywhere, which was a bit overwhelming. It could be that I was also moving from pixel art to 3D. But I was struggling with pixel art, and I thought at least if I had a rigged 3D character with bones, then animation should be easier, right? I don't have to redraw frame by frame like in pixel art, I just move the bones around. Well, I realized it's not that trivial. Animation is a big skill in itself that can go very deep regardless if it's 2D or 3D. I do like Unreal's flexibility in being able to use its visual scripting language, Blueprints, and also being able to work in C++ and expose your custom logic to Blueprints. It's fun trying to figure out the line in which you should use which. I'm starting to prefer to try to do what I can in C++ and expose variables and functions which I can then tweak in Blueprints. But I do find Blueprints much faster to work with. Anything related to UI or animations, I use usually stick with blueprints. I started back up on Miner's Delight, and I haven't made much progress yet to show off. Also, since it's 3D now, some of the core gameplay concepts that I had before I'm rethinking, such as digging downwards to get materials. I figured I should work on the core mechanics first because I want to set that in stone before working on the details or on any story elements. That way, I could get a feel of the gameplay and see if it's even fun to play. So I started off with the inventory system and being able to pick up items. Then I worked on being able to equip items and started a bit on combat, which is just slashing right now. Probably adding a dodge roll will make it a bit more fun. And to live up to the game's title, I'm going to work on being able to mine rocks and ores next. I do want to spend more time on the environment. I really only spent time trying to make this fluffy, stylized grass. Environment items like trees and rocks are from asset packs currently. I do want to eventually customize them to better fit the environment style that I'm going for. I'm trying for something peaceful and calming, and I'm also a huge fan of the Ghibli art style. So I'm going to spend more time trying to recreate that feel. I think I just need to invest more time on texturing to get a more painterly look. I wouldn't say I'm closing the door on Godot. I still think it's a great game engine, and if I do want to work on a 2D game, I'll most likely use Godot to do so. But at least for any 3D projects, I think I'll stick with Unreal. Mainly because I just sunk a lot of time into it. At the end of the day, the game engine you choose isn't what makes a fun, enjoyable game. There were plenty of great games made without third-party game engines, such as Cave Story, which was C++, Stardew Valley, which was just C Sharp with the XNA framework, and Minecraft, which was initially Java, and many other examples. Well, see you guys around, hopefully soon.